हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 254 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट द पिस्टन कनेक्टिंग रॉड एंड क्रैंक शाफ्ट ऑफ अ डीजल इंजन आर शोन इन द फिगर द क्रैंक थ्रो ओ ए इज हाफ द स्ट्रोक ऑफ 200 एमएम राइट सो दिस पिस्टन मूव्स 200 एमएम डिस्टेंस राइट सो दिस ओ ए लेंथ इज हाफ ऑफ दिस दैट डिस्टेंस राइट सो दिस मींस दैट ओ ए आर्म इज इक्वल टू 200 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 सो दिस इज इक्वल टू 100 एमएम राइट सो दिस मींस दैट दिस ओ ए लेंथ इज 100 एमएम राइट एंड फर्दर इट इज सेड दैट द लेंथ ए बी ऑफ द रॉड इज 350 एमएम राइट सो दिस लेंथ इज 350 एमएम and it is said that for the position indicated the rod is under a com uh, compression along ab of 16 kN right so this ab rod is under compression and it is said that determine the moment m of this force about the crank shaft axis o right so we have to find the moment of that compression force about this point o so now let's draw the free body diagram so let's say that this is that oa arm right and let's say that let represent this ab arm by this line right and now let me join this o with b right and now let's let me move this whole uh, free body diagram right so let's say this is that point b if i say this is that point b this is our point o and this is our point a right and this angle is given right so this angle is 30 degrees and if if this is the perpendicular so then this angle is 60 degrees right we know this oa length so this oa length is 100 mm so we can say that this oa length is 100 mm and this length is given right so this eb length is 350 mm right so this is 350 mm and it is said that this eb uh this rod is under compression right so this means that this rod is having the forces in this direction right so the this rod is subjected to forces in such a way that this ab rod is compressed right so this this should be the direction of that compressive forces right so as a reaction this rod should apply a force in the opposite direction at this point a right so the force which is applied by this rod as a reaction at, at this point a should be directed in the opposite di direction right so this should be the direction of that compressive force on this joint a right so we can say that the this for 16 kN force is applied on this point a and this is the direction of that compressive force right so this is that 16 kN force right so now we are required to find the moment of this 16 kN force about this point o right so now if we move this force if we move this force and place it here right or if we extend the line of action of this force right so then if we resolve this force into its components right so we will have two components right so this will be one component of this force this is that 16 kN force so this is one component and this is the other component right so this one if if this is the some angle theta right so then this is the and this one is the cos component right so this will be 16 kN cos of theta and this one will be 16 sin of theta right so as we can see that this cos component of this 16 kN force is passing through this point o so it will not produce the moment about this point o so only this sin component of this 16 kN force is producing the moment about this point o and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from this point o is this ob distance right so first we have to find this ob distance right so we have this length we have this length right so now to find this uh, angle theta we can apply the sine's law right so i can write sine of theta divided by the length of the opposite side right so the length of the opposite side is this oa which is 100 mm right so we will write 100 and this will be equal to this sine of 60 divided by the length of this opposite side right so this ab side so which is 350 mm right so we will write 350 mm so this sin theta will be equal to 100 sin of 60 degrees divided by 
and if we apply sine inverse so that will give us that theta so theta comes out to be 14.33 degrees right let's say this is my horizontal line right so this is oa so then let's say this is a dash right so this uh, b a dash plus r we can say that o b length is equal to b a dash plus o a dash right so now as we can see that since we know this theta so then this b a dash is the cos component of this b a right so we can write that o b is equal to b a cos of that theta right so if this is the angle theta so then this b a dash is the cos component of this a b length right or b a length right so we can write it like this and then o a dash if we consider this 30 degrees and then this o a dash length is equal to the sine component of this o a right so i will write o a sine of 30 degrees right so then this o b length equals to b a cos of 30 so b a is 350 so we can write 350 cos of this angle which is 14.33 right so i will write 14.33 degrees plus o a so o a is 100 100 sine of 30 degrees so this gives us ob length equals to 389.11 mm right so now we can find the moment of this compression compression force about that point o right so moment about point o will be equal to 16 kilonewton sine of theta right so 16 kilonewton sine of 14.33 degrees into the perpendicular distance right so perpendicular distance is this ob right so we will multiply this with 389.11 so when we solve this so moment about o comes out to be 1540.92 kilonewton mm right so this 16 is 16 kilonewton right and this is in mm so now kilo is 10 raised to the power 3 and mm is 10 raised to the power minus 3 right so this means that both of these will cancel out right so this k will cancel out this millimeter right so this means that this is 1540.92 newton meter right so this is the moment of that force compressive force about this point o so this is the solution of this particular problem